Two Hamilton County deputies who were placed on administrative leave are now facing a lawsuit from the man they stopped and strip search at the side of the road. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Joshua. The DA dropped the charges against James Mitchell, but investigations continue by the Hamilton County DA's office and the TBI. News Channel 9's Abby Kirk is live outside the sheriff's office with what this new lawsuit includes. Abby. Yeah, Josh, Latricia, the 30 page civil right complaint was filed today in the circuit court. It argues that Mitchell suffered from emotional stress, assault, and was unreasonably searched. In this dash cam video, Hamilton County deputies Daniel Wilkie and Bobby Brewer can be seen hitting a man in handcuffs. According to the arrest report written by deputies, James Mitchell was aggressive towards officers at a traffic stop in Saudi Daisy. That's right. If you read the statute, it's for aggravated rape. Mitchell's defense attorney is Robin Flores. And you don't perform summary um, punishment on the side of the road. He argues that what the officers did to Mitchell that night is unreasonable. The lawsuit seeking $17 million in damages says the county created an atmosphere that allowed excessive force without punishment. In regards to the strip search, the lawsuit says the individual had a non deligible duty to refrain from strip searching and cavity searching James on the side of the road or without the assistance of a medical professional. No reasonable law enforcement officer would have acted in this manner. If you like fascism and you like the way things are happening in Washington, go with it. But we're still the United States and attorneys like me and several others are going to defend the Constitution. Flores says that they will be talking to investigators. He does say that he also hopes the lawsuit will eventually move to federal court. Live outside the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, Abby Kirk, News Channel 9. Abby, thank you. The lawsuit is seeking $17 million and also was filed on behalf of Mitchell's fiance, who was also in the car that night.